Hi everyone, welcome to the distributive property. As I work these problems, they're going to get more difficult and at the end I will go through an example without variables to show um, kind of like proof why this works. Okay, so this is the first problem that we're going to start with. And the three is bumped up against the parentheses. There's not a plus, there's not a minus between the three and the parentheses. So this means that you're going to multiply three by both of the things in the parentheses. We have a variable m and then we have the number six. We can't add six and m together. So what you're going to do, I like to put a picture in your head to help you remember how to work the problem, so I make a rainbow. So we're going to multiply 3 times m, which would be 3m. And then now we're going to multiply the 3 times the 6, and that would be 18, and the 6 is positive, there's a plus in front of it, so 3 times 6 is 18, and I'm just going to move my plus sign down. Let's look at another one. Let's say that you have 4 times n plus 7. Again, you're going to multiply the 4 times the variable n, and that's going to be 4n. And then you're going to multiply the 4 times the 7, and that's 28. And we're just going to drop our plus sign down. Let's look at another one that's just a little bit harder. All right, so we have this problem. We're going to multiply the 6 times the x, which would be 6x. And now we're going to multiply the 6 times the 7, which is 42. And I'm going to drop the minus sign down between them. So the answer is 6x minus 42. Let's try another one. Sometimes you're going to see the number on the outside of parentheses on the right side instead of the left side. They want you to be able to multiply with it both ways. So we're going to do the same thing. We can make a rainbow and come all the way to the front. 3 times a is 3a. We're going to drop our minus sign down. And now we can multiply 3 times the 8, which is 24. And that's the answer to that problem, 3a minus 24. Now I'm going to make it a little bit harder. This would be and seventh grade equivalent pre-algebra. Let's do negative eight times a plus two. This time I'm going to multiply negative eight times a, which would be negative eight a. Now I'm going to multiply the negative eight times two which would be negative 16. Let me show you another way that you can think about this problem. You can think of it negative 8 times a, negative 8 times a, and then plus negative 8 times 2, like that, and then negative 8 times a is negative 8a, and then negative 8 times 2 is negative 16. We could bring the plus sign down, but we really don't need that. So the answer is negative 8a minus 16. That's a little bit tougher problem. Let's look at one more. Let's say that you had c minus 3 times negative 7. Again, I'm going to multiply the negative 7 times c, which is negative 7c. Then I'm going to multiply negative 7 times negative 3. Two negative numbers, when you multiply them, um, you're going to have a positive answer. 
So your answer is negative 7C plus 21. All right, now, at the beginning I said that I would show you how to work with the distributive property with just numbers. So let's look at one problem. Let's say that we have 3 times 10 plus 4. Well, there's a couple of ways that you can solve this. You can say 3 times 10 is 30 plus 3 times 4 is 12, and that would be 42. Let's look at one other way that you can do this. You're supposed to start with the parentheses first according to the order of operations. So I should combine these two numbers together. 14 times 3. And 3 times 4 is 12, carry 1, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 42. So we came up with the same answer both ways, just different methods. And that's the distributive property. Thank you so much for joining me. And check out my other videos online.